dried leaves and berries are ground up and made into cigarettes by a single-hand machine. The deadly narcotic is not quickly and easily prepared for its market. All right, so I've gotten quite a few messages about the um, airlift that I created for my uh, compost tea brewer. And uh, I actually just built it off of a YouTube video that Full Duplex sent me. Um, but I did have to modify mine a little bit to make it work, so I think it's best that I'll just go ahead and just make a video real quick explaining to you guys how I made mine. Okay, so basically what I've got is everything here is an inch and a quarter PVC. I don't know much about compost brewing. I know nothing about airlifts. I'm just gonna show you how I built mine. So I don't know if you can use a smaller diameter. I'm sure you can, but I guess it depends on what pump you have and what kind of airflow you've got. But so this is inch and a quarter PVC. This is 11 and a half inches long. These are roughly two and a half inches long. And then there's two inch and a quarter T's. And then there's two inch and a quarter 90 degree elbows. So that's all the piping you really need. Now when it comes to breaking this down to get it to this barb, this is where I had to kind of come up with my own method. Um, so what I did is I ended up just using whatever they had available at my local hardware store. You want to get this 3 8 by half inch 90 degree nylon hose barb and it's threaded right there. So basically you're just trying to figure out a way to go from this to this. And then so what I did is, this is like a reducer, an adapter, going from an inch and a quarter to one. And then this is a one by a half inch bushing threaded on this end. So this ends up sliding in here, right? And then the hose barb ends up screwing into here. So that's how that goes, okay? And then how this goes together, so this one is gonna go like this, and then one of these spacers is gonna go in here, and then this other one is gonna go in here like this. So these two T's go together like so. And then uh, this is actually gonna go on here like this, and then I like to just make it nice and straight because I got like OCD and stuff. But, uh, and then what's going to happen is this uh, with the, the barb is going to go back here into this one. I'll try to get that in as much as I can so that it fits in the bucket. <clears throat> so that's going to go like that. And uh, one of these is going to go on here like that. Your second spacer is going to go in this one. And then your last 90 degree elbow is going to go on there. Just like that. And that's it. I just dry fit those. So that's the airlift. And then I've got a 3 8 inch hose. Because I've got this Eco Plus One or whatever it's called. This popular pump that people buy. It comes with a 3 8 barb. So I put the 3 8 barb on there. And I've got 3 8 inch hose. And uh, also a little hose clamp. So that's just gonna go on there. And then this is going to come on top of there like that. And then that's it, you tighten the hose clamp and uh, you're good to go.